Okay, a robot named Fred is initially moving at 2.2 meters per second, so we have some numbers here. We usually want to look at those numbers. 2.2 meters per second along a hallway in a space ter terminal. It subsequently speeds up to 4.8 meters per second in a time of 2 seconds. Determine the magnitude of its average acceleration. So we have another time or numeric amount right here, 0.2 seconds, and then we have another velocity amount right here, meters per second. We know that's velocity right away because velocity is equal to d over t, and we know that that equals meter, that's the unit of measure for d, and t is the unit of measure of seconds, and we see meters over seconds right here, and meters over seconds right here. So initially, okay, so we have an initial velocity, so vi equals 2.2 meters per second, 2.2 meters per second, and we see a velocity final of 4.80 meters per second, and we see a unit of time equal to 0.20 seconds. So these right here represent our knowns. Alright, so we have that pulled out of the uh, pulled out of the problem here, but they also want us to find out some things. So let's look at this. We want to find our average acceleration. Okay, so our average acceleration is going to be A equals meters per second squared. It's pretty common, but we want to say it as meters per second per second. That's, that's a better way to say it. So we'll say if we have the formula from, for acceleration, and acceleration is a rate of velocity right here, say velocity, over time. So, A is equal to V over T, really. So, our unknown is acceleration. So, we're going to come down here and we're going to transpose this. Acceleration equals delta V over T, really, because it's a rate of change in velocity. Not just velocity, but a change in something. That's what acceleration is about. It's that change in velocity over time. So, we will say that equals VF minus VI over T. And let's notate that V is, again, meters per second, and T right? T is second. So here we have meters per second per second. Meters per second per second. So we're all good there. So we're going to take our final velocity of 4.80 meters per second and subtract that from 2.2, our initial velocity, 2.20 meters per second. And we're going to, once we subtract that, right, we will divide it by 0 0.20 seconds. And that will come out to, it looks like, 4.80 minus 2.20 equals 2.6, and then we'll divide that by 0 0.2 equals 13. So we see problem solved relatively easily, and it is equal to 13 meters per second per second, right? Meters per second over second. Or we can say 13 meters per second squared, whatever convention you like. So final answer right there.